Hare 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 saints of God, this prophet pastor and I greet you. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Wow, 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 I greet you in the name of Jesus. Today, look, I'll be talking about how to save your marriage. How to save your marriage. And um, I want to greet those online, those of you that join me online. I'm going to be talking about how to save. How are you going to save your marriage? How you can save your marriage? How you can save my, your marriage? It is my prayer that in this in this message, as I preach, as I, this message comes to you, I pray that angels are going to begin to manifest in your family, in your marriage. It's my prayer that angels manifest in your marriage. It's my prayer that you begin to see God. Some of you, as I'm preaching, you are going to begin to see the light of God. Some of you see the Spirit of God in action as I'm speaking, preaching right in this video. Some of you are going to see the light of God in action. You're going to see the Spirit of God in action. As I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is going to appear. Angels are going to appear in your life. The light of God is going to appear in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I've prayed for my angels. Let my angels appear as I speak. Let them appear as I speak in the name of Jesus. Some of you see the light of God. The light of God. Sometimes the angels will appear as light. Some of you as you are watching me now, you begin to see light you begin to appear in your house. Some of you see my presence. Some of you sleep at night and see dreams of angels. That's the fact that angels are manifesting. Let me tell you something. Those of you that want this anointed bit, make sure you get this anointed bit. Make sure you get this anointed bit. Those of you that are having marital problems. Your husbands are they are not there. You can you can your marriage is not settled. Your marriage is having problems. I've received several messages. And this my this teaching is for me to address some of the questions that I've received on marriage. I've received uh, thousands and thousands. I cannot even just reply to them. Thousands of questions about marriage. And I'm gonna be some of them are responsible. If you don't want to WhatsApp me, WhatsApp me. Email me at prophetpastor at gmail.com. Those who want to get it anointed bit, make sure you get it anointed bit. Make sure you get it. Order your anointed bit. Order it. Make sure you order it. Get your own anointed bit. Let me tell you something. Marital problems are spiritual problems. I listen to me. Marital problems are spiritual problems. Let me tell you a mystery. Everything that God created before he created man, he gave man dominion over those things. Everything that God created. The Bible says he created the heavens, the earth, he created the trees, the fish, everything, the animals, the birds, the insects, everything that God created, the rivers, the skies, everything that God created before he created man. Man has got dominion over those things. So it means that dominion doesn't mean that you can just control. No, dominion means you've got mastery. That word dominion in Hebrew is mastery, to master it. When God says have dominion over the things, the birds in the air, it means master it. You've got mastery. And you've got, you've got power to affect those things. Everything God created, the Bible says he created those things before he created man. Everything God created before he created man, man has got dominion. Everything that God created after he created man, man doesn't have power over it. Man doesn't have power because, because remember the things that God created after he created man, those things are the things that he alone has got power over it. The Bible says after God created man, he made man male and female. He breathed that soul into man and man became a living soul. Man became a living being. He breathed the soul into that cocoon, that, that earth, the earth that he had formed. He breathed that man became a living being. The Bible says, then God split the female from the male. The Bible says he took out, he caused man to fall into a deep sleep. That man is called Adam. Adam to fall into a deep sleep. He took out the rib from Adam and created Eve. Eve is in Hebrew, it's called Hava. Hava and created Eve. Eve means from Adam. From Adam. So he took out the rib from Adam. So woman is something that was taken out. It was a separation. In the beginning, man was one. There was no male, there was no female, there was one. He created that male and female, they were all one, and put them inside the body. And then God separated them. God separated them. And that thing that he separated, he separated them. He called one woman, the other one became man. He says, this woman is, the, is from man, came from man. That's why women and men are attracted to one another. 
because the souls came they were one that's why the souls are that's why that's why women and men are weak for they will always be attracted to one another it's not because of anything because the souls were one it's powerful it's powerful revelation i'm telling you now and the bible says then he brought them he created them he brought them together presented a woman to adam and i'm saying this is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken from me and the bible says that union you know, when god brought them back together it says what god has put together let no man put asunder are you hearing so god will say no man will have control over this thing that i've put together which is marriage that's where god created marriage that's that's the creation of marriage when god took out the rib and brought woman back to man so those two that the thing that god brought together says let no man put asunder meaning this thing i've created which is marriage no man has got power over it that's why there's no man that understands marriage it takes a prophet of god who is a prophet a prophet is someone that goes to the realm of God. I'm talking about a prophet from God. There are different kinds of prophets. There's Bible prophet. There's this. There's there's all kinds of prophets. Some prophets are called prophets of doom. But the prophets of God, the ones that go to the realm of God, are the ones that can say can have power to understand, to master, and to show you what marriage is. That's what I'm telling you now. So marriage. It's not something. Let me tell you something. Never take your wife or your, your husband that you're going for marriage counseling to go and say marriage counselor. That's a big a big mistake because no marriage counselor understands marriage. Because marriage was created after man was created. It takes somebody that goes to the realm of God to come to tell you what marriage is. It takes a prophet of God. A prophet that comes from God like me. I'm a prophet of God. I came from the realm of God. I can tell you. Because I can tell you what marriage is. Marriage is an institution. It's like a church. Marriage in itself is like it's like a creation. It's something that was created. It's godly. It's godly. That's what the Bible says. God Himself brought the woman to the man and presented the woman to the man. So when we talk about marriage, we talk about that which came from God. Every all the things that people are doing, I call them. What they're doing around any marriage that's not of God that doesn't come from God is what I call plain house. They are plain house. They are plain house. To play house means they're just acting. This one it says, I'm call me, call me husband, does it call me wife? They're plain house. It means it means the marriage, the marriage, for example, let me give an example. Two people are married together, and they are you ask why are you married together? And they say because we are in love. No. The reason for marriage is not because of love. Love is an emotional feeling. It's your own desire. Love is an emotional feeling. Emotional feeling and emotion change. Your emotions can change. That's what love is. It's an emotional feeling. So if you get married because of love, they can, you can be manipulated. So marriage is not because of love. So get married because of money. Marriage is not because of money. Marriage is a holy institution. So get married because of beauty. Marriage is not because of beauty. It's a holy institution. Marriage is like a church. That's why the Bible says, husband, love your wife, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. So marriage is like a holy institution. There's no earthly reason to get married. You cannot say I'm getting married because I love this woman, I have feelings, I have feelings for this woman. No, no. It's, a, it's an earthly, it's something from the flesh. It's an earthly reason. So some say, I want to get married because I want children. No, you want children because you're for the flesh. The only reason that you get married is because God, there's only one reason that's correct. Because God wants you and God needs you to get married. That's the only reason. Because it came from God. It is His, it is His institution. It is His desire. This is powerful. To raise some of my sons and daughters, those of you want to get anointed beats, make sure you get anointed beats. Make sure you get this anointed beats. Those of you don't attend my conference, make sure you subscribe to attend my conference. I'll mentor you, or mentor you. I see Albert. How are you, Albert? Albert, my son, yes. Jabulili, my daughter, how are you? Yes, Ivy, Tesha, Tesha. I see Tesha online. Some of you write, begin to share this message. Jenko, yes, Jenko, how are you, Felician? Blushes, I see you, my son, Blushes. Shelton, how are you, Shelton? David, I greet you. Yes, I see Monet. I see, I see my son, my son, Shanfred. 
Sarah, let me tell you, you're going to get instant. Your marriage is going to be saved after the message. Yes, Joyce, how is it? Kili? Yes, Brendan, I see them. I see them. My son, Kenuti, how are you? Mandungu, Mandungu, Simoin, Simoin, yes, Joanna, how are you, Joanna? Lebohang. My daughter, yes, Lonil, I see you. Henry, how are you, Henry? One of my sons in Canada. Yes, Rohini, Yorini, how are you? Rohini, one of my daughters in Guyana, Guyana. Then, Natalia, how are you, Ambrose? Pochi, yes, Tessa, one of my Tessa, one of my daughters. Um, Guyana. Nkululeku, yes, yes, Eva, how are you, Solomon? Chenolo, Chenolo, yes. Sarah, Sarah, Viola, yes. Magomitsi, my daughter, yes, and many of them write to me, those of you that write to write me. Share this video, those are watching on YouTube, those are watching on Twitter. You're watching, make sure you click on the subscribe button, click on that subscribe button to subscribe. To subscribe, you're going to get revelation that's going to blow your mind. Favor, how are you, Favor? Joe, Joe, Christian, Becky, Siboniso, how are you, my son, Siboniso? I see you. Emma, how are you, my daughter? Emma, I see you. Yes, begin to share that. Many of them, some of them, some of Twitter, some of them, on Facebook. Facebook, join, follow me on YouTube. This on YouTube, I see you on YouTube. Elvis, yes, Dave, David, how are you? Yes, yes, Pastor Mata, my son, Pastor Mata, my daughter, yes, my daughter, yes. Gabriel, Chief Gabriel, yes, how are you, Chief? Yes, Octavia. Tobis, how are you? How are you? Mabel, how are you, Mabel? Josephine, how are you, Josephine? Yes. Clara, I'm going to call some of you. Clara, Clara, Janelle, Gina, I'm going to call some of you. I'm going to pray for you on the phone. Prophesy. Right, if you know so you want, you want it's another episode. So 2020 seed. What's a 2020 seed? A 2020 seed is a seed of clarity. I told you I'm this eye of the scorpion. The eye of the scorpion is the eye that sees the invisible. The eye that sees is a special anointing from God. Special anointing from God. It sees the invisible. You write 2020 seed, turn 220 dollars, 220 pounds, 220 euros, 2020, 2020 rands, 2020 in pullers, those of you that are in pullers, you saw this, 226, you're going to create some other bits, I'm going to ship them to you. John, how are you? Yes, Bahati, yes, yes, Dumelang, how are you? Dumelang, I see them, there's a share, begin to share, I'm live on direct, live on direct. Emily, how are you, Emily? Sarah, Favor, I see you, yes, I see some of your YouTube. Red type, a main, a main, those are typing, a main, Concepta, how are you, Elizabeth, Tepo, Shepo, yes, yes, Maxine, how are you, Minky, I see Minky, begin to type, I just want to see you, Ella, how are you, Ella, my daughter, yes, I'm my daughter in the US, God bless you, I see God will do something for you, Godfrey, Godfrey, yes, Gugu, how are you, my daughter, Gugu, Gugu, I see a fresh light is shining, a fresh light, a fresh light, Gugu, Yes, 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 yes. Comfort, my daughter. How are you? Comfort. God is doing something in your life. Mary, Mary. Yes, there are thousands of them. I've got more than 45,000 sons and daughters over the world. Write to me. WhatsApp me. I WhatsApp you. You WhatsApp me. I respond. I call on WhatsApp. There are people that call on WhatsApp and I deliver them just like that. I call you on WhatsApp and I pray. I call the name of Jesus. Deliverance just starts. I call the name of Jesus. And the moment I call the name of Jesus, deliverance starts. That was happened. Call people are calling people asking me, how do you deliver people on the phone? That's what happens. I prophesy to you. I tell you things that nobody has ever told you before. Tell me. So no human being has got mastery over marriage. Only the prophet of God. The prophet that God has sent, those are the ones that have got mastery over marriage. So you're the one. So you need to let me tell you. Let me tell you something. The things that happen in your house, those are the things that God has ordained. And when God ordains something, He sends His prophets to sustain those things. His prophet. His prophet. So, once I this. Uh, Hello, how are you? Is that Clara? Yes, how are you? Yes. Are you at the hospital? Fine, I'm fine. Yes, I'm at the clinic. You're at the clinic? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'll have, to, I'll have to pray for you. I'll have to pray for you. Are you listening? I'm listening, Pastor. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have to pray for you. Um. You can let me tell you what you need to do because I see this looks like something spiritual. This looks like something spiritual. This this thing has been there for a very long time. Yes. It's 
been there for a very long time. Yes. Okay. Put your hand where you are feeling the pain. Let me pray for you. I'm just going to pray for you really quick. And, and cast any spirit that's not of God. Any spirit. Put your hand or your any, any hand that you have that is free. Just touch where your pain is. I've touched the place. And I'll pray for you. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. I, yes. I pray. I'm praying now. I'm praying now. As I'm praying now, angels are moving in that hospital. Angels are moving in that hospital. They are moving there to protect your life. To protect your life. So that you live. You live. For I pray, Lord Jesus, and I, and, I, and I restore the soul of my daughter. Father, I restore her soul right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I say, Lord Jesus, I take out the angel of death around her right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I say, whatever the angel of death has been sent to destroy her life, Father, I command that angel of death to leave her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I speak right now and I command the angel of life. I command the angel of life. I speak now to angels. I speak to Raphael. I speak to Michael. I speak to them right now to take over that hospital right now in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, wherever the, wherever the pain is in her body right now, I begin to bend that pain right in the name of Jesus. Father, that, 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 those tissues that are sick, the cells that are sick, Father, command those sick cells now, those sick cells should to die and pass out of her body in the name of Jesus. I command them to burn out right now, to burn out, to burn out, to burn out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I say that spirit, that spirit of not of God, that spirit of killing and destruction in our family, that spirit of sickness in our family, that spirit of sickness, that family spirit, Father Lord, I say, out in the name of Jesus, out that wicked Amen. spirit, out in the name of Amen. Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, Amen. out, out, out of our life. Amen. Father Lord, I speak life, I speak life, I speak life to my daughter Kara. I feel her with life Amen. as I'm speaking. Speaking Amen. here now, I hear, I, hear, I hear angels are moving. I speak to the doctors right now. The doctors are going to work with supernatural speed. I, Father, I preserve Amen. her, Lord. I say, Lord Jesus, wherever that pain is right now, that pain begins to die and begin to come out of her body. Wherever that sickness is, that Amen. sickness, I cut out that sickness from the root. I cut out that sickness Amen. in her womb. I cut it out from her body. I destroy the power of enemy of her body in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I say, she shall live and not die. She shall live Amen. and not die. She shall live Amen. and not die. She shall live and not die. She shall live to Amen. testify of the goodness of God. She shall live to yes. testify of the goodness of God. She shall live to Amen. tell her story in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, my daughter. I will continue to pray for you. It is well. It is well. Amen. That sickness is coming to pass. It's going to come to pass. It's going to be history. It's going to be history yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The doctors are working for you now. Speaking and angels are going there and touching them and giving them wisdom. They will not make mistakes. They will, they will work in perfection. They will treat you with perfection in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for restoration, Lord. Financial restoration. Restoration Amen. of the soul, restoration of her spiritual life, restoration of everything in her life that's been broken. I speak restoration. I speak restoration. I speak restoration. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me tell you what's happened. Now, as I'm praying, now let me tell you so I can feel the Spirit of God in that place. I can feel the Spirit of God walking right now. Your life is going to be a testimony, your story Amen. is going to be a testimony. You are going to Amen. call me to tell me the goodness of God in your life and you are going to be a strong person of God. You are going to be one of those people that will worship God in spirit and in truth and you testify. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. I'll continue to pray for you again. Tomorrow I'll go to the mountain. I'll call your name again. I went to the mountain. I call your name to you. I'll call your name again tomorrow to the mountain. I cry to my God. I cry for God to send angels to protect your life so that the enemy will not Amen. steal your life. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Yes. God bless you, my daughter. God bless you. So I was saying, I'm going to answer some questions. I think I've received a lot of questions. So I'm going to summarize them in different themes. Different themes. The questions have different themes. So this one theme is about your husband and your saying, those that say, listen, I'm married to my husband my, or my wife, but they don't believe in God. Do not believe in God. Now, let me tell you what's happening. The first thing that's happening here is, for those that are not yet married, the Bible says, do not do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. It says, don't go and mix yourself with an unbeliever. It says, because what fellowship has light God with darkness? See, there's no fellowship. There's no meeting of light with darkness. So if you're not yet married, this is for you. Don't go and marry an unbeliever. 
because there's no fellowship between light and darkness. You're, you're going to create a fellowship where there's no fellowship. You're going to do something that you're going to entangle yourself and put yourself into something that does, is going to lead to too much problems. So those of you, if you are not yet married, don't even try and get married to your own believer. Don't get, get married to your own believer. Because as I, as I told you, I told you marriage was a creation of God. God created marriage is a holy institution. So marriage is not because of love. Marriage is a holy thing. So when you talk about marriage, you're talking about a holy institution. A holy institution. What does that mean? It's like building a church. It's like taking on believers and trying to build a church using unbelievers. That's what marriage is. It's a holy. It's a separate institution. And the reason for marriage is because you love marriage. God, you love the thing that God has created. You love God. God has created you. God has asked you to get married. So you're getting married because God, God wants you to get married. God needs you to get married. And you love marriage. Not because you love the other person. If you love marriage, it means, it means you face you're born again. Because those who are born again, they understand this concept of marriage. So the only marriage that is, that is correct is the marriage of the Bible. All the other marriage people go and get married there. They go and get married there in nightclubs, go marriage in bars, get married on the road, get married and say they are married. No, that plain house, according to the sight of God, is not marriage. So what happens if you are already married and your husband is not believed? Because when you got married, you were young, you didn't know what was happening. What happens? The Bible says now it's your job to lead that person to Christ, lead that person to God. Lead, the person, lead that person to God. So now you have your assignment to make your house, because of you, to make your house godly, to make that, to make that relationship holy. So because you are a child of God and you are born again, now it's your job. So your purpose in your marriage is to lead that person to Christ through your actions, through your good deeds, through the things that you do, your actions. Not just in words, in your actions. It's like you have a church that you've built. Now you need people to you need to lead people to that church. That's what you should be doing. And you need to study the word of God. You need to get to know God so you're ready to answer. Because those that are married to unbelievers have a lot of questions that the unbeliever, unbelieving wife or unbelieving husband will ask that they don't have answers. Now you need to seek the sight of God so you answer. You need to seek the face of God, you answer. So you can provide a response to why you believe God. Let me tell you, it's not easy. Because there are many forces involved, especially people that marry to unbelieving husband, a woman that is unbeliever, a husband, your husband doesn't believe. So let me tell you. It's, it's, it's difficult. She must seek that. The second thing, those of you, you need to get the anointing. The anointing. Because let me tell you something. Marriage that you see is a relationship that has the highest number of attacks from demons demons attack marriage more than any other relationship because demons don't like their creation of god remember i told you marriage is a creation of god they don't want it and they want to destroy it so they will not attack you what they will do is they will live inside their unbelieving husband they will be living inside their unbelieving wife and jumping from the unbelieving wife to destroy our life i'm speaking spiritually now so you can be asked, say, why are things going like this? Why are things going bad? What? No. That demon that is attacking you is living inside your own husband. And what they do, they leap outside your husband and they come and attack you. They destroy your job. They attack you. They destroy your business. But they, their house is your, the body of your husband. That's not marriage. Or their house is the body of your wife. That's not marriage. Because demons need a house. The, the demonic spirit that you see cannot, cannot survive too long outside the court. The spirit cannot just move around answer they need a place they need an animal they need the body of an animal the body of a person but the best house is the body of a person because the body of a person has is conducive for them so do so so you can be praying every night praying every night and your life is going down why check your marriage between who you are married to check your marriage because they are, the demons can be living inside that man or inside that woman that's not man that's not born again but they will be tormenting you as a person. And it will not be the man's fault because the man is not born again. So demons can live in his body because he's not born again. 
and it's not your fault because although you're born again you're married to a person that's not born again you can you got married because you were naive you didn't know and that's a, that's a challenge marriages face that's why some person, somebody come and say man of god i've been married for this now i'm suffering i don't know what's happening i've lost my job i've lost my business as fair as him is your husband married born again is your wife born again the question will tell you no the man is not born again i already know I already know where the problem is coming from the problem is coming from a demon that is staying in, living inside the body of the husband or inside the body of the wife and jumping and attacking her, him or attacking her. Causes sickness. So when you can be sick in your marriage, you don't know where that demon is. The demon that's attacking your body, you are sick, but that demon is actually living inside your wife. That's why when I pray to people, I always say, go and bring your wife. Bring your wife. Let me pray for both of you because I can cast the demon. I can be praying for you. If the demon is in your wife, that demon will jump. It's powerful. So small, you should be careful. Marriage is something that I told you. No human being has master. So if you go to a counselor, what are the counselor will know about those things? The counselor will never tell you. Most of the counselor, you find out the counselor, ask and say, counselor, counsel me. Ask the counselor, what about your own marriage? Most, most counselors that they say that marriage counselors, marriage counselors, yeah, their, their own marriage is, is falling apart, even worse than your own marriage. How can a counselor counsel you but their own marriage is falling apart? And even some pastors, you go to them and say, pastors, help me, pastor. That pastor also, the marriage is crumbling. The pastor is suffering. Suffering the marriage. Because it takes a prophet of God. There's a prophet called prophet of God. I told him a prophet from God. That sees, that sees in the realm of God. That can see. Most of my son wrote to me and said, man of God, check this person. Who can I marry? I always tell him, show me the picture. Who do you mean to marry? I show you the right. I say, this is the right woman. This is the right man. Don't marry this one. Don't marry that one. <laughs> this is important. This is important. The other question I've asked, some of you get this anointed bit. Those of you that are strong in marriage, get anointed bit. I give this anointed bit to a woman and the husband had run away. The husband rose and came to the house. The husband disappeared from the marriage. After she wore this anointed bit, the husband started coming to the house. The husband started coming to the husband that ran away from the marriage. You see, situation where a woman, a man, a man just disappeared from the marriage, he just knows a spiritual thing. Marriage is not a, it's a, it's a spiritual. That's why marriage can only be godly. It's godly. Because those are spiritual things you're talking about. There's an angel of marriage. Specific angel of marriage. Also, the Bible says marriage is honorable. Why do you say marriage is honorable? Because marriage is honorable, just like you talk about a president is honorable. Or a parliamentarian, or a member of Congress is honorable. That member of Congress has got, has got people that, that protect him. People that work for him. That's why it says marriage is honorable. So marriage is like you're building something. It's an angel of marriage. And those of you that people that are married of the world that don't have the angel of marriage, you attract problems. Because I tell you in the earth that three people, there's a man, there's a woman, there are spirits. Some spirits leave the sea. They come to the earth. They take the shape of body. Some spirits live in the trees. Some people, some spirits live in, in trees. They take this human form, they come to this earth. And you see the person, you say, you want to marry this person. And from that day, your life, your life is useless. Especially spirits that leave the sea, from the sea. Second question. So what about uh, prophet? So what about my husband? My wife is cheating. Second question. My husband, my wife is cheating. Almost I do. Almost I do. My husband, my wife. Also, once I've caught my husband cheating, I've caught my wife cheating. Almost I do. Let me tell you the first thing. You need to contact the prophet. Contact the prophet. Get anointed bit. Because let me tell you something. Some of you think you can physically control the soul. There's nothing that a person can do physically to control the soul. If your husband or your wife goes and meets a stronger spirit, let's say your wife goes and meets a man that's a spiritual man, the man can entangle himself to the wife with the spirit of your soul, the soul of your wife. Or the woman can hook to your husband. And you find your husband just going out like a mad person, following that woman. I don't know what's happening. Or you'll be fighting physically, going to fight the person. You fight the person, you fight the person today, the husband still go there the next day. Sometimes you hear the husband has impregnated a woman. 
You don't know what's happening. So that the husband, the husband will come and say, I will not cheat again. I will not, I will not go and cheat again. Promise, I promise you, I will never go. You find the next day the husband goes out and cheat. What's happening? Let me tell you something. Most of these cases are spiritual attacks. They're spiritual attacks. And sometimes the spirit first attack. Let me tell you what happens. Let me tell you what happens. This world is full of many spirits. And the spirits are there to destroy marriages. What the spirit will do is, if you're a praying woman, you're a woman that loves God, you love God, you want things of God. If Satan wants you to come to his kingdom, what Satan will do, he will look for the weakest link. And if the weakest link is your husband, Satan is going to send demons to enter inside your husband. That's why I talk about spiritual wife or spiritual husband. That demon will enter and live inside the spirit, the body of your husband, and take control of the soul of your husband. And chase your husband out of the house. You make your husband to go and start looking for women up and down. But there's his spirit inside him. Not him, but his spirit controlling him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He will go and start sleeping with other women. He's that controlled by that spirit. And that husband will be angry with you. You find out that the husband that they come back from after after going to cheat with other women, they come and become angry at you. They become angry. Whatever you do, they're not happy. You do you cook for them, they're not happy. You wash their clothes, they're not happy. Do anything they're not happy. Some of the some of the men even they see they don't even have money. The wives are the one doing everything in the house. They pay anything in the house. They pay, pay school fees. They do everything. The husband is always angry. You know, there's a spirit. They call them spiritual wives. They are living in that husband, that body, and they don't want you to 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 marry that husband. I need to know that. Why tell people to go this anointed bit? Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. When I say get anointed bit. This anointed bit. I say I've got anointed power. Because those spirits come in the night when you are sleeping. Not when you're praying, when you're sleeping. When you wear this anointed bit beside your husband in the bed, that spirit cannot enter. Sometimes the spirit comes and when your husband starts to do those things, you find your husband the manhood, the man who is not working. The manhood. The situation where you find a woman is a man of God, my husband, there's no affection. There's no affection. That's a good example of a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband. Sometimes it's the woman. The man, you do, you do everything for this woman. Some, some of the men, they even leave. They, I, I know a mother left and met the United States. When came to Nigeria, married a woman in Nigeria, took the woman to America, educated that woman. They were married. The woman just disappeared when I cheated with other men. The same thing when man left America, marry a woman in Cameroon, go to go to go to America the woman, take the woman to UK, the woman, take the woman to Dubai. The woman still goes and cheat to other men. If that spiritual husband is living inside that woman, the spiritual will make sure that woman will hate you no matter what you do. That's why you need to pray for deliverance prophecy to expose that spirit and pray with anointed beats. And one man, one man wrote to me, say, Man of God, I'm suffering. The woman I brought from Africa, I took the woman to the UK. That same woman has taken me to court and asked that the court must seize all my assets and give it to her to go to her other boyfriend. There was a, a man that wrote to me, he says, man of God, I went to I went to Cameroon, I saw a woman, got married to that woman. When I took the woman to Europe, the woman took my car, gave my, the car I bought for her, gave the car to the other boyfriend and took things, cleaned my house, took, took the things to the other boyfriend. Tell me what's happening. Why? Because because these are spiritual things. It's a spiritual husband living that woman. And there's nothing, nothing you can do physically. You can see you fight, you do whatever, you go and do this. No, it will not work. You need to that prayer of deliverance. You need to get anointed bits. When I get anointed bits, you and I pray, I call that name of Jesus. I say, out, out the name of Jesus. That spirit will go away. Will go away. When that spirit goes, we start to enjoy marriage. You find men that their manhood is not working. The manhood has stopped. The, the penis is not working. You find a woman that the body is not is not like when you sit, the woman is beside you, it's like they've poured cold water on her body. A man that the penis is not working when the wife. Situation in the man is the, the penis doesn't work. He has to go out. When he goes out and meet other women, the penis starts to work. Why? That's spiritual things. Spiritual things. There is something. It's powerful. 
I want to talk about something called bedroom hygiene. Bedroom hygiene. How to save your marriage. The things I need to do. Bedroom hygiene. There's, an, there's, a, there's a hygiene in the bedroom for married people. But you get this eye of the scorpion. I'm telling you, only a prophet can tell you this. A prophet from God. When you, to, you, you come to your wife or your husband, you must learn to wash yourself, clean yourself. Especially when you're going to meet your wife, clean yourself, wash yourself. Let me tell you something. In the days of all the Romans, before you come to a Roman temple, there are some carvings, things that have been carved, drawings. Some of those things, statue of those Romans people, those Caesars, the statue. People that come to clean that statue were specialists of that, they were trained cleaners just to clean the statue of Caesar. They go to North Korea to clean the statue of Kim Jong Sung, the grandfather of Kim Jong Il, to clean the special people that clean it. Special people that clean it. If you go and start cleaning that statue, they kill you immediately in North Korea. If you go and take water, they want to clean the statue. Go and to clean that statue of Kim Jong Un, the grand grandfather. It will kill you. If people can look after statue that I imagine the body, your body that you see is the Bible says the temple of the Holy Spirit. The temple. So you are going to meet with your wife. You are going to sleep beside your wife. You are going to sit. Make sure you clean yourself, and your wife should clean herself because they are touching the temple of the Holy Spirit. Don't touch the temple. The Bible talk about the the rabbis. So they give you a Torah before you enter the the, the temple to come and touch it. There's a there's a Torah that's open. Those are people that hold the Torah. To come and give the rabbi they inspect their body how they have washed after washing they check their body but they have done the washing right they check check to the fingernails check everywhere to see that they have clean before they touch open the torah to read the torah imagine sleep with your wife you need to clean yourself for go and touch your wife let's talk about bedroom this is this holy thing it's holy it's not about being sexy, you know, it's holy, being holy. It's holy. You recognize my wife's body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Your husband's body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I mean, there's it's power just to touch a temple, to clean yourself, to touch a temple. Some marriages, some marriages separate because you find that the husband is coming sweating on the bed, sweating. And the wife is also sweating. There's no bedroom hygiene. The temples, the temples are not clean. Clean the temple. Yes, it's a question I've gotten. And dress clean, wear fresh clothes, wear fresh clothes. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The reason I say that is because the temples are being cleaned. Every time people go to the temple will be very clean. So a temple of the Holy Ghost means you're saying this body belongs to God. I'm cleaning the temple of God. They talk about a rabbi called Rabbi Abba. Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Abba will be teaching a class in the middle of the class will drop everything that he's teaching goes back to his house Rabbi Abba and take a bath the teacher asks him Rabbi Abba how you teach him also you just leave the class halfway there I go to take a bath Rabbi Abba said no he's feeling as if his body is sweating now the temple of God is sweating the temple of God is now sweating he needs to go and clean it before he comes and continue the teaching he said Rabbi Abba will go home and wash take a bath wash comes back then start to teach there's a tradition, a Hebrew tradition that's called a mikvah. A mikvah is before any, any woman gets married. They soak the woman, they dip the woman inside water. There's special water. The Bible, the Bible said that water will come from a stream or sometimes it comes from the rain. They soak the woman inside the water. The woman goes there praying. After taking that mikvah, before you can go and go and get married, the men also take the mikvah before they get married. The Bible said John took the people, baptized them inside the water. Soak them inside the water like a mikvah. I said, before you Gentiles want to become Christian, you Romans are baptize you. Clean you water. Before you go and start saying you want to become Christians. Because your body is going to be washed. The temple of God cannot be, cannot be, cannot be sweating. To all the men, to all the men. If you can meet your wife, tell your wife. Some of you need to tell her. Share this message with your husband. Share this message. I'm not gonna be long today. I'm just gonna be one hour. It's been done. One hour. This message. One hour. And this other message. Someone write to me. I'm just answering some of the questions they write to me. When is it okay? When is divorce okay? This is my answer. I always say divorce is okay when there's no option. 
meaning that the when divorce is not an option. If you want to divorce because you have an option, means no, you're not supposed because the Bible says they're together, nobody should put asunder. The only time is when there's no other option. When you go to the point, you say, No, this is any today. This is any today. No, that's it. If you go to the point, you say, No, this person, my life is a risk. Your life is a risk. No, you need to save life. Because you don't want to get to a point where your husband kills you, go to heaven. The angels ask you, why are you coming here to heaven? You're not supposed to come here now. What are you doing here now? You say, no, angel, my husband killed me. My husband, my husband killed me in the house. No. The angels will blame you. Say, no, you were supposed to, you were supposed to leave. You don't die in that place. Your life is at risk. Some people, their wife poisoned them. The husband killed them. It's a terrible thing to go to heaven before your time. Because there are things that you have to do. God has planned things you have to do. You go there before time, the angels will be shocked. What are you coming here now? You are supposed to come here after 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 80 years. You are now you're only 40. You're coming here. You're supposed to come here when you are 80. You're only 20. You're not coming back to heaven. What's going on? What did you have? What, what happened? You tell the angel, angel, my husband beat me. My husband beat me up and killed me. My husband stabbed me. My husband shot me. The husband, angel said, No, she'll run away. Leave. Leave that place. I don't tell people, whenever you find a life at risk, you must you must leave. The man is saying, threatening you, they're going to kill you, you must leave. If you find your life is at risk, your spiritual life is at risk, your physical life is at risk, you need to leave. There's some time that many people, some people write to me, some write to me, some man of God, some, there are many people that write to me, it's a man of God, I told him, they go and divorce that man, leave him. When I see the spiritual life is at risk, the physical life is at risk. My daughter went and wrote to go Went to court in the US. I told the man of God, I'm getting the divorce. Yes, go and get it. But let me tell you, in the beginning, it was not so. It was not so. There'd be some, some people, you know, they've gotten to a point where it's, it's either do or die. And they live or they die. Because they don't want you to go to heaven. And the angel asks, why are you coming to heaven early? You're supposed to come to heaven when you're 120. You're only coming to heaven when you're 50. You're 30. You're coming to heaven already. We wanted to come with your 120 years to do things for, for God in the kingdom. God bless you. God bless you. I don't know what to pray for. I'm going to call some people. I'm going to pray for. Pray for. Pray for some people. Lady, pray for some people. I like, pray for. This is my daughter. She's sick. I need to call and pray for her. Pray for her. Call and pray. I see something. The Lord is showing me something like 1966. That's my birthday. birthday. The birthday. Yeah. 1966. Yes. My goodness. My goodness. So God should God just have to pray for you. So you are being located as I'm speaking now. Angels are around you to protect you, to stand with you because you've gone through a lot. I see, I see like I see I see I see this name Calvin. Then I see two children, like two children. My God. Yes, my our Tw twins. Eh? Our twins. Twin. Because I see some, I see a twin child, I see two children, I see some, a name that starts with letter D, D, what does D mean, letter D? Hey, Jesus, Dominic, Dominic. Dominic, one is Dominic, letter D. And yeah. then one of those children, the name starts with letter S, S, S. My God, Fenyon, Fenyon. Samuel. Fenyon, S, S, Samuel. So the two children as Dominic and Samuel. Simeon, S-E-N-O-N. -E Simeon, Simeon, yeah. Uh, Simeon. Simeon, yeah. the Lord says he's going to pray. I should pray for this twin. I should pray for this twin. I should pray for these children because you raise them like alone, like alone. You suffered for them. You raise. Yes, Pastor, and I'm so tired. I, I, I just want to hear more what the Lord is revealing before I say anything. But I'm so tired. Yeah. These children, they have. Yeah, they have messed with these children so much, and uh, yeah, I just want to hear more, and then I tell yeah. them if you have an No, the Lord yeah. is show, the Lord is showing me that these children, that these children that you see, the Lord says she pray for these children so they don't go astray, so that these children don't go astray. This Simeon and and this this D this uh, Dominic, Simeon and, and Dominic. Yeah, so they don't go astray. Yeah. She pray, and I see some names. Good, the Lord is showing me many times. I'm seeing name like Monica. Do you know any person called Monica? Monica, Monica, Monica. Hmm. No. Not that I can recall off the back. Yes. 
I see a name. I see. I see a name like Monique. What? Where? Where? Where is the Lord is showing me that there's a place where I see you where you were young in a place I see you were young place in coming from a place in a place like it's called like Arlington. Arlington. Can you hear me? Like when I was young. I see a place like Arlington. In, uh, maybe, maybe. Well, I grew up in Claremont. Yeah, I see a place. Uh, they okay. be, I see a place like Arlington in a place in a place like Virginia. Uh, uh, oh yes. Oh, Arlington. I used to live there. Yeah. You, in Arlington. Yes. You used to live in Arlington in, in I think Virginia. Yeah, that's where I grew up. Yeah, in a place like Virginia. Many years ago. Yes, we left from Virginia because the, the judge granted me to leave mm. with the boys. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and the Lord is saying the Lord is saying I should uh, I should pray for you because I mean you are a woman but you are like the, you are like the husband and the and the and the wife you are like everything you are like the pillar of everything, your family everything. you are everything. like the husband the Lord is showing me he says pray for this woman because you've been sometimes I see you praying sometimes I see you worried sometimes I see you crying but the Lord is saying today is your day of breakthrough it's your day it's your day where His hand is going to be upon you and your family because I see even. <laughs> Even financially, you have been financially strained. We mean financially. You've been drained. Jesus. Are you listening? You've been, yeah, yeah. You've been financially drained. Yes. It's like you look left, right. There's like nobody to support you. Nobody. You feel lonely. You feel lonely. You feel lonely. Sometimes your heart, sometimes your heart is really heavy. You feel very low. You feel lonely. But God is saying that He's with you. Come out for that body. Come out from that body. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, you demon. You demon of killing. Come out. Come out, come out. Come out, you demon of killing. You demon of killing begin to come out. Come out, come out, come out. Come out. Out, 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 out. Come out from that body. Come out. Come out, you demon. Come out from that body, you demon. She shall live or not die. Come out, she shall live. Out, out. I speak fire right now. Fire. 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 Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Out. Out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Fire. Come out. Come out. You demon. You shall leave that body. You shall leave that body. Out. 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 Yes. Come out. That demon. Go out. 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 Out, 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 come out, come out, come out for that body, you wicked spirit. Come out, you spirit of killing. Come out, you spirit of killing. Come out, you spirit of witchcraft. Come out, come out, come out, 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 come, 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 come out, fire, fire over your body, fire all over your body, you shall not stay in that body, fire all over you, fire, 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 come out, come out, come out, fire, 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 out, 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 fire, the just fire all over you, fire all over you, fire, fire, fire. Come out, begin to come out. Come out, you demon. Who are you? Come out. Come out from that body. Come out from that body right now. Come out. Come out. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. Come out, come out, come out. Come out from that body. Remove any poison. Remove it, remove it, remove it. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out remove it, remove it. Remove it, come out, remove that poison. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out from that poison. Come out, 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 out. Out, out. come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Out, 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 out. Begin to come out, begin to come out. Pa, 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 pa. Out, out, come out, you demon. You shall not stay in this body. Out, 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 out. You cannot stay in this body. Out, in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire all over you now. Fire all over you now. Fire all over you now. Out, out, come out. Come out, you spirit of killing. Come out, you spirit of killing, you demon. You shall not kill her. Come out, you shall not kill her. You shall not kill her. Out right now. Out, out, out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Begin to come out. Come out, begin to come out. Yes. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. Have fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire the name of Jesus. 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 Out, come, 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 Out, 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 out. Come out, you wicked spirit. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out, out. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Out. Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Out. 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 Who are you? Who are you? Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Come 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 out. Come
who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Begin to come out. Come out, begin to come out. Come out with that body right now. Come on, yo. Come out, come out, come on. Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? What, what have you done to her? Come out, you are going out. Come out, you are going out. Who are you? Who are you? Speak, who are you? Who are you? Out, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Fire. Come out, who are you? Come out. Come out, come out, come out. Who are you? Out, 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 out. Out, 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 come 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 out, who are you, who are you, come out, come out, come out, you satan, out, you demon, come out, fire, come out, out, come out, fire, fire, come out, come out, come out, vomit that poison, vomit that poison, right now, vomit that poison, out, vomit that poison, come out, come out, 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 come out, begin to vomit, begin to vomit that poison, vomit it, vomit it, vomit it, come out, vomit it, come out, who are you, who are you, Ow, who are you? Who are you? Ow, out. Ow. Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Come, speak, speak. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Wait. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You shall not stay in that body. You shall not stay in that body. Come out. You, you, you demon. Come out. You shall not kill her. Come out. She shall leave. Come out. She shall leave. Out. Out right now. Come out right now. Begin to begin to come out. Begin to come out. Take her back. Go, go, go. Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Who are you? Uh, fire! Fire! Who are you? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You're able to count! Out! Out! Come on! Come on! Come on! Fire! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Fire! 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 Come on! Out! Out! Come out! Come out from my! Come out from my! Come out! Come on, vomit, vomit, out, 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 come 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 out, out, come out, everybody, come out, everybody, come out, everybody, you demon, come out, you will not stay, come out, you will not stay, oh, you will not stay, come out, you wicked spirit, come out, come out, you wicked spirit of killing, out, come out, begin to come out, begin to come out, 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 fire, I speak fire all over your body right now, fire all over your body right now, begin to burn, begin to burn fire, fire. Fire, 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 come on, fire, 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 wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, fire, 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 wherever you are, fire, fire all over the body, fire from the head, from the crown of your head, fire on your head, fire on your feet, fire, fire, fire on your hands, fire, come on, 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 out, out, out! You shall not stay in that body. Out! Come on, you're going out. You're going out. Out! You're going out. 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 Out! 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 Come out! Out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Begin to go. Begin to go. Go! 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 Come out! Out, 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 come out, come out, come out, go 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 out, come out, this bit of killing, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, 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 come 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 out, you wicked spirit, go out, go, 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 go out. Go out! Go out! Go out, you Satan! You shall not stay! You shall not stay! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! 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 Come out of that body! Come out of that body right now! Come out of that body right now! Come out! 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 Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Out. out fire 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 come on come on Ow, come on come out you demon going out you are going out you are going out 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 you are going out out you are going out 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 come on 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 out you are going you're leaving that body come out you're leaving that body come out come out come out you wicked spirit come out come out you spirit of killing come out come out come out come out out, out, come out! You are going. You are going. You are not staying. Going. You are going. Go out. Come out. Out. Come out. Come out. 
Come on, come on, come on. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You wicked spirit. You wicked spirit. You wicked spirit. You're going out. 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 You are going out. You are going out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Yes. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Yes. Out. Out. Yes. Out. Out. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Come out in the mojis. Out. Yes. Out. 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 Fire out, fire out, out, fire the name of Jesus, fire the name of Jesus, out, out, out right now, come out, come out, come out, yes, you are going, you are going, who are you, 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 who are you? 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 Who are you, you demon? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Come out! Fire! 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 You wicked demon! Fire! You wicked demon! Fire! You wicked demon! Out! Out of that body! Come out of that body! Come out! Come out! I said fire all over you, fire all over you, fire all over you, fire all over you right now, fire all over you right now. Come on, fire, fire in the name of Jesus, 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 fire in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, come out, you wicked spiritual husband. Come out, come out, come out, come out, you wicked spiritual husband. Out, out, you spiritual husband. Come out. Come out, you are going out, you are going out, you are going out, come 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 out, out, go out, come out, in mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, come out, in the mighty name of Jesus, come out, come out, come out, mighty name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, out. Ow! 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 The mighty of Jesus! Out! 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 To the mighty of Jesus! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Out! To the name of Jesus! Out! To the name of Jesus! Out! To the name of Jesus! In the mighty name of Jesus! Yes! 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 Jesus! Yes, you are delivered, my daughter. You are delivered. You are delivered. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Don't cry, my daughter. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. You have been delivered. You have been delivered. You have been delivered. Don't cry, my daughter. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She's crying. Thank you, Lord. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. You have been delivered. You have been delivered. You have been delivered, my daughter. You have been delivered. That demon has gone. Yes, that demon has gone. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Yes, you are free. Yes. Yes. Save him. Save him from today. Save him from today. Worship him from today. Worship him. Jesus, Jesus has set you free. Jesus, Jesus has set you free. Yes, Jesus has set you free, my daughter. Jesus, Jesus has set you free. Jesus, yes, yes, yes. You're feeling light now. You're feeling light. You're going to feel healthy. You are going to feel like you're going to have a lot of energy, a lot of energy. You are going to have you sleep peacefully also you sleep peacefully that spirit has gone that spirit that's all that's all that's all is gone that spirit has gone the spirit that want to kill you and kill your family and destroy your family the spirit has gone now you are free to serve god you are free to serve god you serve god you worship him you worship him my daughter yes thank you jesus thank you jesus 
Jesus has done it for you. Jesus has done it. Jesus, Jesus has done it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go well, my daughter. Go well. Go well, my daughter. That that demon was that demon was talking through you, was behaving like a lion. Was that demon was behaving like a lion through you? That demon. But now you are free. Now you are free. I know you cannot remember. You cannot remember. Now you are free. Now you are free. Jesus. Yes. Amen. God bless you, my daughter. Stay well. I'll continue to pray for you, okay? I'll continue to